I'm Katherine Ross and I'm here live from the NYC with Jim Kramer. Jim, let's kick this off by going unfiltered. What's on the top of your mind? Well, I'm proud of the people at Dick's. Uh, after the Parkland tragedy, uh, they pulled guns out of their stores. Uh, this is not unlike CVS Action Alert name. By the way, it's doing very well. When they just said, you know what, we're a healthcare company, we're going to take cigarettes out. It's going to hurt our numbers. And uh, Dick's handled this very well. And they had a monster quarter. And many, many things did well, particularly apparel. Uh, they, uh, they, they closed two stores they opened to, so they're not in expansion mode, kind of like Home Depot. But it was one of their, it, it was the best quarter in three years. And again, I come back and I say, look, the consumer is great because that's totally discretionary. And uh, that was just a good quarter. Now remember, we've got two economies. We have the industrial and we have this one. Now Dick's built in the tariffs. Uh, if the tariff war continues, our business is going to, businesses are going to go down. Why do I say that? Because the president said it. And if the businesses go down, then we need the Fed to backstop us. So what you have the situation is we want to fight China. It's Trump. But unless the Fed is going to backstop us, we're going to go into a real recession. If you go into a real recession and, and it's an election year, well, I happen to, my sources indicate that Senator Warren is killing it in Iowa. Uh, the president is not yet thinking recession lose to Warren, but the people around him, it's to say it's in the air. Let's talk about another company that reported earnings and that's Nordstrom. Now Nordstrom beat expectations and I'm wondering, Jim, uh, is this a turnaround story for them or is it just the it's strength a, of the consumer? Just, it's the expense control. Um, Nordstrom's is inexpensive, so what? I mean, Kohl's is inexpensive, we own that for action alerts. It's been. It was great. Uh, we made a made a good, good amount of money in it. Then we went back, and Kohl's and Nordstrom are somewhat similar, which is that they uh, their department stores and people have decided even the best department stores are not worth owning. So you know you can. I'd rather I'd much rather own Costco up four than I would own Nordstrom down here. <clears throat> Costco's really good. Remember, watch is what did well. Watch. You gotta watch my, watch. My acronym. Walmart, Amazon, Target, Costco, Home Depot, that's what watch yes. stands for. Okay, so let's Nordstrom is real money stock of the day. So in keeping with real money, I want to talk about your column on oil this morning. And you know, if I'm an investor and I'm looking to get into oil, what do I need to do now? Stay away. Uh, what's happened <clears throat> we've had a series of upgrades, the oils. A lot of promotion for Exxon. A lot of belief that the Permian people are gonna make money. Uh, this is a commodity. There's too much of it. There are a lot of millennial investors, who ESG investors, uh, and uh, managers want to own these fossil fuel. Uh, when there's uh, the companies themselves are pulling back, there is, uh, a, to me, a sense that these companies are long-term wasting assets. And so people are trying to get ahead of that and sell them. Don't touch this group. Don't touch it. Uh, you know, we own Schlumberger, that's bad. I mentioned BP, and that is a 7% yield, and I'm not gonna tell you to buy it. Uh, it is, I, I never thought it could happen. Uh, this time was different. You know, they tell you that this time is different, it's the most expensive, blah, blah, blah. This time was different. Uh, the, even the oils with big yield, <clears throat> knife through butter. So just be careful, the group is not investable. The group is not investable. And remember, we own Nana Darka, so it's not like we're idiots. That was the best one. Now, if Jim telling you on camera isn't enough to stay away from oil, he does have six reasons why you should avoid it. Yeah, check it out. You should. It's over on Real Money. Okay, Jim, last night we had a big thing oh, that I don't know if you guys, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught this or not, but we talked fantasy football all night long, and it was so much fun. Right. But I'm wondering, Jim, what was the most fun part of that well, for you? Well, first I want to say, those who are watching, <clears throat> if you're good, I mean good, you had to have won a world, you have to have won a Super Bowl uh, in the last two years. If you've won a Super Bowl, you send an email to her, and maybe we'll invite you into our Wall Street Challenge. We're trying to get a bunch of firms. If you work at a firm, you know, and they're letting you be uh, in our Wall Street Challenge, we want you. But if you've won a Super Bowl, what email? Catherine with a K dot Ross at the street dot com. Won a Super Bowl, email her. Maybe I'll choose you for our league.
We're going to be doing so much more about fantasy football. It's so much fun. Bill was fantastic yeah. last yeah, night. Yeah, Bill was terrific. And what I learned last night was there was a moment, a crucial moment in my draft where uh, Godwin was available and Alshon was available. And I felt I should pick Alshon because I love him, Eagle, blah, blah, blah. And he said, cut out your emotions. Is that not what I teach you? Do not trade with emotion, right? Check your emotions and feelings at the door. I pick Goblin. Seventh round, I get Wentz. If there's anything good with Alshon, I am going to get it. So I learned, check your emotions at the door. Great, great uh, uh, testimonial and, and uh, commandment for fantasy. Great commandment for investing. And if that's not enough to sell you on this, this Eagles fan right here drafted a cowboy. Had Two to. cowboys. Had to. I was going to go Levy and Bill. Would have made sense. Uh, but one of the things that, again, Bill Enright, I mean, the tutorials that we got yesterday are amazing. Uh, don't pick a great person from a losing team. Now, uh, I do have Sam Darnold as a backup quarterback, but, but uh, the Jets are a losing team. I know that they play some really easy teams. Uh, but the Jets are a losing team, uh, and that cut toward taking Zeke. And I do think Zeke is going to be signed soon. I hope so as a Cowboys fan. All right, guys, so if you missed any of that coverage, go to bullmarketfantasy.com or find us on Twitter because we did a ton of live streaming last night at Bull MKT Fantasy. Yeah, all right, Jim. Uh, Bull M MKT Fantasy is where I've been tweeting all morning. Uh, I learned so much. Look, if you're a fantasy, if, uh, we did the draft early in part, so now you can look at our videos and learn something. But uh, if you're a fantasy fanatic, like I am, we designed this for you. Uh, I designed it for you. I wanted very much to be able to tap into pro people so that I could win my draft. And that's what we're doing. Uh, I don't know, look, I was on also, I was on draft, uh, you know, I was on a wizard, I was on a fantasy, this, that. I mean, I've like draft, draft wizard, NFL. Ours is the best. Um, I've been doing fantasy since 1980, and I've always dreamed to offer a service that would make it so that you'd win, and what you would know what round to draft so and so, you know where to draft the second quarterback, or where to draft the kicker if to draft one, who to draft. These are things that we are exploring that no one else is, and we do it in an exciting fashion. And if you're a fan, look, at, let's put it this way. Those of you who watch who are interested in fantasy, 99% of you, I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you, are going to go to our site. It's pretty great. Exactly. We get to talk about, exactly. we get to talk to Bill Enright and Adam Ronis, Champ, two Champ. of the champions. Adam Champ. Exactly. Yeah, they're fantastic. We're, what we're doing is we're tapping into a network of champs. Uh, we're not tapping into a network of talking heads. It's actual champs. They school us. I admit that they thought I made the worst. I've drafted Moncrief. They said it was okay, not great. Uh, they did overall give my draft a good grade. Don't you want your draft graded? Don't you want to be in the in the uh, Super Bowl of, of Wall Street? I mean, the Wall Street Super Bowl challenge is on, people. It's on. All right, so again, guys, head over to bullmarketfantasy.com or tweet at us at bullmktfantasy, especially if you want to see Jim in a Cowboys hat, which and is you pretty need great. The Federal Reserve, what they're going to do. You just need to know, know you. All right, Jim, thank you for all of your insight. All right. <laughs> all right, guys, if you're watching on the street.com or on Facebook, we are now heading over to our Actual Alerts Plus daily rundown show over on actualalertsplus.com. I'm Catherine Ross, and we'll see you tomorrow.